Outside Hillsborough Stadium, Joe Smith is about to meet the man who saved his life. I'm excited and nervous. This grainy footage from a BBC documentary unlocked memories for Joe. He was that eight-year-old lost in the crowd. A stranger hoisted him onto his shoulders to help him find his family. Last Friday, Joe came on Good Morning Britain in search of his mystery hero. It would be wonderful if you could meet up with Definitely. a hero. Definitely. I'd love to. And it wasn't long after the appeal for John McMahon's phone to ring. A number of my friends, you know, it's, it's an internet thing, it's gone sensational, it's viral. And now, for the first time since that tragic day at Hillsborough, the two men are reunited. I owe a great deal for why I'm still standing here today. Down to John. There's thousands of heroes, I think. Absolutely thousands. Thousands of Liverpool fans who did exactly what I would have done. You know what I did. Um, and, and, and they're the two heroes of the day. Here they are now. Huge thank you to Liverpool for helping us sort that out outside Anfield there. Joe Smith and uh, John McMahon join us. It's, well, look, I mean, let's start with you, Joe. John, lovely to meet you. We were only talking about you last week and you were away sunning yourself <laughs> on holiday, we thought, we were led to believe. It's been a tough week. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Joe, so when we spoke to you last week, you'd seen the documentary. Uh, as Kate was mentioning, it was at Hillsborough all those years ago, but it was John that picked you up and scooped you up and, and you credit him, really, with saving your life at a very terrifying time. That's right, yeah. Um, you know, we were, like I say, we were sitting here talking about it last week, and you know, it, it, things went crazy. You know, after the, after being on the show, and I was fortunate enough to to get some contact with John, and we've been in communication since. I was fascinated because we, we were when we were talking about sorry, when we were talking about it, you were saying this man helped mm. me. Uh, at the time, John, how old were you? Uh, only sixteen. So <laughs> I was only a little nip of myself. Um, it, it was a bizarre situation to be in at the time, but yeah, I was only sixteen, and, and so was many other. Uh, young people there at the time as well. Uh, I think the vast majority of the crowd would have been uh, teenagers. Mm. And, and one of the stats about the 96 is there's a high percentage that were actually uh, under 20, mm. which is shocking, really. It is. It says a lot for you, I think, at the age of 16, that your instinct was to help those around you in this must have been terrifying situation, not to run away. And Joe wasn't the only person you helped, was he? Uh, no, he wasn't, uh, but there was thousands of other people doing the same thing mm. that day. Uh, well, I'll rephrase that. There was thousands of Liverpool supporters doing exactly the same thing that day, uh, helping out. Uh, and ever since then, the survivors really, I, I would say, have been heroes um, because they've all given evidence, which has helped the families get the, in the inquest and the um, decision that we were after. Yeah. And, and we got that recently. And we've done that through the evidence that everybody mm. has given, which has been phenomenal. So look, Joe, we know that it was on the <coughs> moment you saw that face again on the documentary yeah. and you thought, gosh, that was a man, because you'd had an image in your mind all this mm -hmm. time but had no way of knowing it had been captured on video. How did you come to know about it? Did you watch the documentary as well? Did you <coughs> see Joe? Yeah, actually, <coughs> it was one of my friends on a Sunday, uh, Walter, he, um, he sent me a text message and said, has, has this boy ever tried to get in touch with you? Uh, and I said, no. And he said, well, don't you think that's a bit strange? I was like, not really, no, because it was just one of those things that happened. It, it wasn't a big drama. Anyway, uh, we were there on holiday. Uh, it was my wife's 40th, so we were celebrating that. And then I woke up one morning and he said, y you've gone crazy. It's gone viral. <laughs> uh, I was like, what are you talking about, sort of thing. Checked it out on the phone uh, and then just couldn't believe what happened, really. It, it's gone crazy. And you knew, did you know straight away that, that you were the guy that, because that was the other thing, is you weren't yeah. sure where you'd mm -hmm. had a few people say, but you were the guy that had scooped him up and put him on your shoulders? Yeah, 100%. Uh, Joe mentioned this the other day about um, seeing the footage for the first time, uh, and I followed it all the way through, and I've never seen that footage either. There it is there, look. It's extraordinary. Yeah. And did you ever wonder what happened to that little lad? You... Uh, well, I'll be very honest. Um, in some ways, not really, because I knew Joe was OK. Um, right. I, I gave him back to the, the family members he was with. Um, Joe's mentioned in all my statements, the IPCC, he's been mentioned in all my statements all the way through. So it's not like I've forgotten about him. But in my mind, it was at rest because I knew he was okay. Yeah, he was safe. The other was people helped. the others, yeah. That, yeah, that weren't as fortunate. Mm. What is fascinating about this as well, though, Joe, is how many times the two of you have become, come very close to meeting yeah. without realising. Yeah, um, we both actually worked in the same building. Goodness um, me. And this, for the same company at one point as well, so we probably brushed past each other many times. Got in the lift together time. or something yeah, and never yeah. know. Quite easily, yeah. I can't believe you'd ever forget a man with a bar. Yeah, do with some of it. <laughs> but I, and what was that moment like when you finally got to see him and you finally got to say thank you, Joe? Oh, I was wondering why he had a white T-shirt on first, showing his tan off. But that, that, <laughs> no, it was, it was, it was. Oh, I was emotional. It was really great to see him and give him a hug and you know to to thank him really for, for saving me life. I mean, he, 
he, he's quite humble, John. He doesn't like in the way of the hero and people describe him as a hero, but you know that's the way I see him at the end of the day. So, mm. but look, it's an absolute treat for us to, to have you here again just a week later and having brought you together is, is really exciting. And undoubtedly, as, as Joe said, you were a hero. I know you won't take it, but there were lots of people doing similarly yeah. things. But thank you so much for joining us again and, no and sharing your story. Really good to see Thanks you both. Thanks for coming.